Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. A brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. This one's all about Storm. I'm in a difficult position because I've been ranking up my champions. I've been waiting for certain champions, hopefully getting ones that are decent out of my featured five stars. But as I was let down by that, and as I'm undecided about spending my tier four class catalysts because I wanted to spend them on getting my five stars up, but unfortunately I've been let down by that. I'm in catch 22 on waiting a little bit longer to get something decent, substantial to kind of really use in my roster. So I decided that with alphas expiring, it was time to rank someone up. And I was looking through my roster and thought, do you know what? I want to have a look at damage output. I want to have a look at stun. And even though she's not awakened, I felt that uh, Storm might be a good candidate. She's kind of the highest, or sorry, not the highest, but close to the higher and with regards to rating so i was like man I'm, I'm really kind of doing it for the prestige side of things and have been my hand has been forced so why not storm one thing that i did notice with storm was that the energy damage was quite low actually it started off in the 700s and obviously that's only going to improve when it comes to signature level improvement from the awakened ability so we started off at like 700, I think it was 790, if I remember rightly. And then when we put the rank up on, that we increased the rank, it did mean that the champion got 900 with regards to energy damage. And one thing I really wanted to do is use this character with a mutant synergy team. I thought, hey, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take on that Winter Soldier guy. And it's like I wanted to make the experience as easy as possible. I'm still using, unfortunately, at the point of recording this video, this this kind of uh z5 which is still quite annoying but i've got the elgato set up so i can i can go with my iphone 7 very shortly but the issue still remains that you know what is she going to be like and i felt that the easiest way i could do this was well the easiest method which is parries blocks uh, a little bit of l1 evades and full clutch so without further ado and with mutant synergies in mind Let's go full clutch and get some major damage and uh, and just completely blast through Winter Soldier with an unawakened storm.
so that was Storm, and I'm pretty delighted to have this champion. I haven't really utilized it in any kind of team. Now that I am reaching a point where five stars are becoming more prominent with regards to my playing in Marvel Contested Champions, I will. I do feel that I have to get her up a bit further. I really do hope that I get a, a you know five star waking gem that's mutant related in upcoming rifts and obviously rifts will probably come around you know and they'll probably be coming around shortly they always seem to pop up at the most ridiculous points which is, which would be really nice if we can get that but in the meantime i would hope that i get her out of my next five star crystal chances are very slim but that would be quite nice conduit is you know it's great for for energy damage and all this kind of lightning and, and stuff it just makes this character so entertaining to play Likewise, the damage output is is quite good. The armor obviously is going to be as it is. Let's just have a quick look at the attributes for that, as percentages go. So we've got like well, good armor rating, sixteen point seven. Block proficiency is actually not too bad, to be honest. Uh, critical rating average and critical damage rating one nine seven. So all these things are pretty good, and the champion does crit particularly well. Obviously, with a mutant synergy team, she is quite good because we've got that lovely mutant agenda which gives that extra percentage on the L2, which is very much welcome. Oh, like I said, I just want her up to to kind of be awakened. A lot of my five stars in particular, but I'm quite happy with this uh, this champion being in my roster. I should have really put up a, a lot sooner. And maybe I could do the same thing with Black Panther and do something with regards to the uh, synergy of uh, Romance as well as their uh, their connection because that would that would be quite nice to kind of link those two up because of the bleed aspect to uh, that particular champion but in the meantime utilizing it the best i can so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button subscribe for marvel contested champions and yeah as always i shall catch you on the flip side bye for now